Hello everyone, welcome to Pep Coding. In this video, we will look at the question minimum jumps with plus i and minus i moves. Okay, so let's take the question statement so we can actually understand what the question is saying. Okay, cool. So it is saying that given an integer x, let's say my x is 70, right? The task is to find the minimum number of jumps to reach a point x in the number line starting from zero. So let's make a number line. Right. And uh, this is zero. This is, let's say 10. And this is, let's say 20. Okay. My number X is 70. So it is somewhere around here, 70. Right. And now we have, we are saying that it is, uh, the task is to find the minimum number of jumps to reach a point X in the number line starting from zero. So I'll take some jumps from zero and I have to count the minimum jumps. Uh, by which I can reach this 17 point. Okay. Now, the first jump made uh, can be of length one unit and each successive jump will be exactly one unit longer than the previous jump in length. Okay. So it is saying that the first jump that I'll take will be of one unit and every successive jump will be of one units more than the previous jump. Okay. It is either, it is, it is allowed to either go left or right in each jump, which means I can either go I can either I can either take a jump in this direction or I can take a jump in this direction, right? So what does this mean? Let's say that I take the first jump in a positive direction, right? It will be of one units. So I'll get to one, right? Now I can take a plus two jump, right? Then I'll get to uh, three, right? Now I can take a minus three jump, right? I'll get to zero again. So it does not really matter how, how I have to take a jump uh, in the left or right direction. It is just saying that every successive jump will be of plus one, uh, plus one unit. Okay. So we have to take jumps like this in such a way that I have to reach my destination, right? I have to take a jump of plus one, then jump of plus two, then jump of plus three, right? And jump of plus four and so on. And I have to reach this 17. Right, I have to reach this destination. So how are how am I going to solve this question? Right, what is going to be the approach for this question? How we are going to solve this? In this question, we will learn what and uh, what and how of this question first, and then we'll realize like uh, like then we'll see why it is actually working in this case. Okay, so first we'll do the what, how, and why approach. Right. We'll first discuss the what and how of this question. Then we'll see why it is actually working the way it is working. Okay. So in this question, in this question, the first thing, let's write the steps. Okay. Let's write the steps here. So the steps are going to be that my, my first step will be, or let's write it like this. This is my first step, right? My first step is going to be that I have to minimize minimize the distance between me between myself and and x right so i have to minimize the distance between myself and x and i have to be i have to be on the right of x right what does this mean this means let's let's take the jumps first okay let's take a jump of plus one i take a jump of plus one i get to here one right i'll take a jump of plus two i get here three right i take a jump of plus three i get to six i take a jump of plus four i get to ten i take a jump of plus five i get to fifteen and i can take a jump now i'm at fifteen right the distance between 15 and 17 is of two units, but I'm saying that I have to be on the right of X, right? So I have to minimize the distance between myself and X and I have to be on the right hand side of X. Okay. I have to be, I have to, to be on the right of X. Okay. So now I'll take a jump of plus six units, plus six units, which will get me to 21, right? After taking a jump of plus six unit, I'll get to 21. Now, since I'm on the right, I will have 
my second step which is see the distance or look at the distance what is my distance say right what is the distance between me and the destination this is my destination and this is me what is the distance between me and the destination okay the distance here is the distance here is four units right four units so we will say that if my distance is even or it can be odd right it can be even or it can be odd so if my distance is even then i'll re i'll reverse the jump i'll reverse the jump of distance by two units distance by two units okay so i'm saying that when my distance comes out to be even when my this distance comes out to be even is this four units right so i'll reverse the jump of distance by two units so what was the uh, jump of distance by two units distance by two distance by two is actually distance by two is actually uh four by two which is two only right four by two is two so this two jump this jump that i took of plus two i'll take this jump in the negative direction right i will take a minus two jump so here for this case for this case i will take a jump of this was four by two right which is two so i'll take a jump of minus two units right instead of taking a jump of plus two units i'll take a jump of minus two units right so let's let's solve this using this the information that we have only right so i'm at this position right i'll take a jump of plus one I get to here right now i'm taking a jump of minus two and when i take a jump of minus two i get to minus one right now when i take a jump of plus three right i'm i'm taking a jump of plus three i'll get to two right now i'll take a jump of plus four so plus four i'll get to six right now i'll take a jump of plus five i'll get to eleven right I'll get to 11 if I take a jump of plus 6 or plus 5, right? Now I'll take a jump of plus 6, I'll get to 70, right? If I take a jump of plus 6, I'll get to 70. So you can see that if I'm at even, if I'm at even position or if my distance comes out to be even, the distance is between me and the X, right? If my distance comes out to be even, then I'll reverse the jump of distance by two units, right? This is what I'm saying. Now. It does not mean that my distance is always going to be even, right? My distance can be odd as well. So what are we going to do in that case? Okay, what are we going to do in that case? So let's see. Let's make another number line and let's take another case. Okay, let's take this case only or let's take go to the new page. Okay. Let's take a case of x is equals to 18. Right? Now I'm at zero. Now this is let's say 10 and this is let's say 20. Right. For 18, I start taking the jumps. Right. I take a jump of plus one. I get to one. I take a jump of plus two. I get to three. I take a jump of plus three. I get to six. I take a jump of plus four. I get to 10. I take a jump of plus five. Right. I get to 15 i take a jump of plus 6 and i get to 21 right and my destination is 18 right this is my x so let's calculate the distance now right my distance here is my distance here is three units right my distance came out to be three units it is three units so what are we going to do in that case now my distance is odd right so for this case for this case i'll say that if my distance is odd if my distance is odd take one more jump okay i'll say take one more jump take one more jump right and let's see what do we get when we take one more jump okay if we take one more jump if we take one more jump from here right if i take a jump of plus 7 here i'll get to 28 right 
when I get to 28, let's look at the distance that I have, right? My new distance is going to be 3 plus 7, which is 10 units, right? Now my distance came out to be 10, which is even. So can we do the same thing that we did for, can we do the same thing that we did for the case of even only, which was to reverse the jump of distance by two units. Okay. So we are saying that if my distance came out to be, if my distance comes out to be even, when I take a one more jump, when I take, when my old distance, uh, my old distance came out to be odd and I took one more jump and it comes out to be even, right? If my distance comes out to be even, then I'll do the same thing that I did for the case of even only, right? Which is reverse the jump of distance by two units, right? This reverse the jump of distance by two, reverse the jump of distance by two units. Okay. So if we do this, if we do this, we are here at this point, right? Let's do the same thing. What is the distance by two here? Right. Distance here is 10 units. So 10 by two is five. So instead of taking this plus five jump, we are going to take a jump of minus five, right? We'll take a jump of minus five. So a jump of minus five will get me to here, right? Somewhere around here. So let's do, let's do this. Right. So I'll take a jump of plus one. Same as this plus two, right? At three plus three at six plus four at 10. Right now, instead of taking a jump, of plus five in the forward direction, I'm going to take a jump of minus five, right? So this will get me to here at five, right? This will get me to back. This will get me back to five of minus five. Now from five, I'll take a jump of six, right? From five, a, a jump of six will get me to 11, right? This is plus six. Now a jump of seven will get me to 18. A plus seven jump will get me to 18, which is my right destination. Okay. This is my destination. I hope you understand this, that, uh, when my distance, when my old distance was even, I was taking, I was reversing the jump of distance by two units, right? But when my distance came out to be odd, I took one more jump, right? And when that jump came out to be even, I did the same thing that I did for the case of even, which is to reverse the jump of distance by two units. Okay. That is my jump count only. That is my jump count, right? That is my jump count only, but, but let's see. Now this does not mean that every time that I will get a case like this only, right? That I take a one more jump and it comes out to be even as well, right? That can be a case when I take one more jump, it will give me odd, right? If I take, if I get odd, then I, I take one more jump. I still get an odd distance. So this can be a case as well. Okay. So let's look at this case as well. Right. Uh, let's take a case of X as 25, right? Let's take the case of 25. Let's make one more number line. We are at zero. Uh, this is 10, this is, let's say 20, right? Now we take a jump of plus one and let's write the destination as well. So let's write 10 here, 20 here, 25 will be somewhere around here and 30 here, right? So first I'll take a jump of plus five or plus one, right? Plus one, plus one, I'll get to one, plus two, I'll get to three plus three, I'll get to six plus four. I'll get to 10 plus five. I'll get to 15 plus six. I'll get to 21. Right. Plus six. I'll get to 21 plus seven. I'll get to 28. Right. Plus seven. I'll get to 28. Now the distance between me and a five is of three units, right? Distance is three units. It is three units. So, if it is three units, then I should take one more jump, right? So I'm going to take one more jump. So if I take one more jump, if I take one more jump from here, right from 28, I will go to plus eight, right? This will get me to 36, 
right now the distance between 25 and 36 the distance between 25 and 36 is 3 plus 8 which is 11 this is still coming out to be odd right the distance between here and here is now 11 units right i i said that i will take one more jump when 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 my old distance was odd i took one more jump and now after taking one more jump my distance is still odd right after it is still odd after my distance is still odd i am saying you should take one more jump you should take one more jump this one extra jump and this one extra jump will give me my answer this will definitely give me my answer okay so if i take one more jump of plus nine units right if i take a jump of plus nine units then i will uh, get to i will get to 36 37 38 39 40 right 45 so i'll get to 45 now what is the distance between me and this 25 right uh this 25 and 45 the distance is 20 units right the distance is of 20 units so i am saying i am saying that uh if now this distance comes out to be even right this distance comes out to be even so if it is even then we already know how to solve the question right I am saying that if the distance is even, that if distance is even, then I already know how to solve this question. So okay. So after this, after I take one more jump, I am saying that if it is if it was odd, then I took one more jump, and if it is odd again, I take one more jump. Right? Take one more jump, one extra jump, and after taking one extra jump, it will only give me even. Right? It will only give me the case of even, and we already know the answer for even, which is to reverse the jump of distance by two units okay this is going to be my answer this is how it is actually working okay but why it is working right why this is working okay so let's see let's say that i that uh, this is my number line right this is my number line and i take a jump of uh, let's say this is why my x Right, I'm at here, which is y. Right, the distance between these two positions is comes out uh, comes out to be either even or odd. Right, this is what's happening. We already know what's happening for the case of even. That when it is even, then I can just do the reverse of distance. Uh, then the reverse jump of distance by two units. It is going to be give me the jump count. But when it is odd, when it is odd, there are two cases which are going to happen. Right, when it is odd, there are two main cases, the major cases. Right, that if we take one more jump, it is going to either give me even or odd. Right, now, let's say that my first jump, let's my first jump, this, uh, this first extra jump that I took was of D1. Right, this is my distance one. This is representing this distance one. Right, so this distance one is even or odd. Right. If it is odd, then I took one more jump. Then it is going to give me a distance two, right? Which is, which can either be even or odd, right? If the case of if it is a case of odd, then I said that take one extra jump. It is only going to give me even, right? And this will be my distance three. So why it is happening? You see, when we are in odd, when we are at odd position, right? When my distance comes out to be odd, then uh, I can either take a jump which will give me even or I can either take a jump which will give me odd right so when I take a jump and it gives me even right so let's say I have a uh, if my dis current distance is odd this distance is odd and I take a jump right and after taking this jump it gives me even right so it means that this jump was of odd length right this jump was of odd length because only odd plus odd will give me even right it means that when this distance came out to be odd right this distance came out to be odd then i took one more jump right and this one more jump that i took right it has to be of some length and that length will either be even or odd right if the distance if this jump if this jump is of even length then this distance will then this new distance will also be odd right but when this distance is of odd length then this new distance will be of even because i know 
that if my dis whole distance is odd, if my d1 is odd, if my d1 is odd, right, and uh, let's say d1 plus jump, d1 plus jump will be my d2, right? I'm saying that this is my distance one, and I took one more jump. This one extra jump is my this jump, right? So this d1 plus jump is d2, right? If this is odd, if my whole distance is odd, and if this jump is odd as well, then this d2 will always be even. Right. This is the case. This is the case of this even. Right. That if both of them are odd, odd, then it is going to give me a case of even. But when it is just odd and when this is even, right, my distance will give uh, this D2 will come out to be odd. Right. Which is the case of this. Right. So if my distance is odd again, if my distance is odd again, I'm saying that if this distance is odd, just take one more jump because I know that the old distance was even, right? The old jump was even. So let's raise this. Okay. So I took a jump of D1, right? Let's write it clearly. This D1 is odd length, right? We know that we know this for sure that this D1 is of odd length. Now I take a jump, right? Now this jump can be of odd length or even length, or this can be odd or even, right? There can be two cases. So if it is odd, if it is odd, then the D1 plus D2 or D1 plus jump will give me my D2, right? This will give me my D2 and this D2 will be even in this case because odd plus odd a D1 is odd, my jump is odd, it is going to give me a D2 of even, right? But if D1 is odd, right, this is the case for this now, right? This let's remove this or it is a little confusing, right? This is just different cases. Okay, these are different case and these is a different case. Okay, so if jump is odd, if jump is odd and my D1 is odd as well, then when I take a jump of uh, D1 plus jump, it is going to give me even as an answer. But if, if my distance is odd and my jump is even, it is going to give me a case of odd, right? That case is this, that when my D2 is, D2 comes out to be odd, right? That if my D2 comes out to be odd, then we already know how to handle this, right? The first, this is jump one, right? This is, let's call this jump one, right? This is my jump one. But now I will take D2 plus jump two. Right. And since these are consecutives, this jump one and the different, the difference between jump one and jump two is just of one, uh, right. They're, they are consecutive. So difference between them is of one unit. So this jump two will now, will now be off, uh, be off odd as well, because first jump, this jump one was even. Now this jump two will also be odd. This will be, this will only be odd. This can only be odd because in this case, this jump was even, right? So if my D2 is D2 is odd and this is odd as well, the answer that I'll get is odd, but uh, the answer that I'll get is even, right? So what is actually happening? We are saying that if my D1 comes out to be even that I already know how to solve this, but if my D1 comes out to be odd, then I will take one more jump, right? Now that jump can be either odd or it can be even. If it is odd, if it is odd, then D1 plus jump one, this D1 plus jump one will give me even as an answer, right? If, uh, if jump one is odd, then this D1 plus jump one will give me even as an answer because I know that odd plus odd is even, right? But if this is even, but if this is even, then I know that odd plus even gives me odd, right? Odd plus even gives me odd so for that case for that case i will say that if d1 is odd and jump one is even right so i'll get i'll get odd as an answer right if my d2 is odd now right if this d2 is odd now i say that i'll take one more jump and since my old jump since my old jump was even for that case right this is only happening for this only right this is the case for this only. This D2 is only happening if this case works, right? If for this case, for this case only, this D2 is happening, right? So this, if uh, the D1, if D2, 
is uh, if d2 is odd and my jump one was even then my answer was odd right now if the answer is odd then this this d2 if this answer this d2 is odd and my jump two is odd because i know that the previous jump that i took was even so my new jump will be odd so after taking these two numbers i'll get my answer as even okay it might be a little confusing but you'll to really understand it you have to dry run the code once okay as a code you have to dry run the code because it is uh, it can be a little confusing okay so now let's try to code this question and then we'll discuss what the time complexity of this question is okay okay so let's go here let's write the code okay so the first thing is we'll take a sum variable and this sum variable will keep the track of the count right this this is the influence on my jump right now let's take a jump variable which is of one length now i'll run a while loop while the sum is less than x right this sum is keeping the track this sum is keeping the track of these additions right plus one plus two plus three plus four i'm creeping the track track of all these uh, of the sum in this only right of all these numbers this jumps plus one plus two plus three i'm keeping the track of all these jumps in my sum right and i'm saying what jump that i'm going to take in my jump variable right this jump variable will signify what jump will i take so if sum is less than x then sum plus equals to i right or sum plus equals to j this is this is going to be my jump and jump plus plus right i take a jump till i am at the point where i have to take a jump right so i'm saying that I'm, i'll take a jump let's say this was 17 right i'm at this position i uh, i'm at 5 15 when when this while loop stops i'm at 15 and after 15 i have to take a jump of plus 6 right but i stopped because my uh, sum here is at is less than 6 right or my sum here is so uh, while while sum is less than x right so when i'm at 15 i take a jump of plus 6 right i get to 21 and now and now my sum is greater than my x so that while loop will not run right but now i'm on the verge of taking a plus 7 jump right i'm on the verge of taking a plus 7 jump so my jump contains plus 7 right because my jump was plus plus my jump is plus plus so my jump contains plus 7 okay so now after this while loop i'll just do if sum is equals to x then i'll just return jump minus 1 because that is my answer right else if sum or i can say sum modulo 2 or sum minus x because this is my distance sum minus x is my distance modulo 2 gives me 0 then for that case for that case i'll return jump minus 1 as well because that is going to be my jump count right that if if this distance comes out to be even if this distance like this comes out to be even then i just have to return the jump count because i know that i have to reverse the jump of distance by two units i'm not taking any extra jump right for this case i'm not taking any extra jump so i'm just saying that the, you should reverse the jump of distance by two units right so i will decrease my jump by one okay else if sum plus jump minus x modulo 2 is 0 right for this case for this case i'll return for this case i'll return jump as well it is saying that after taking a jump this is the case that if i take a, took one more jump right my distance comes out to be odd and after taking one more jump it comes out to be even right then i'm going to reverse the jump so i am taking one more jump right so i won't i won't subtract that jump right i'm on the verge of taking a jump okay so when i was here when i was this, when i was at this 21 right this while loop stopped right and let's say my distance comes out to be or let's go to the next page here right here this x is 18 right and i'm on this 21 right my distance comes out to be odd then i took one more jump right now that i've taken one more jump 
माई जम्प एट दिस मोमेंट इज प्लस एट राइट और माई जम्प इज प्लस सेवन ओनली आई एम सॉरी इट इज नॉट प्लस एट इट इज प्लस सेवन ओनली माई जम्प इज प्लस सेवन ओनली बिकॉज वेन आई वॉज एट दिस ट्वेंटी वन माई जम्प वॉज ट्वेंटी माई जम्प वॉज सेवन राइट एट दैट मोमेंट माई जम्प वॉज सेवन एट दिस मोमेंट एज वेल हेयर इट इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी प्लस सेवन हेयर इट इज ऑल्सो प्लस सेवन इट इज ऑल्सो प्लस सेवन एंड एट दैट मोमेंट इट वॉज ऑल्सो प्लस सेवन बिकॉज आई वॉज गोइंग टू टेक अ जम्प इट वॉज आई वॉज गोइंग टू टेक अ जम्प बट द वाइल्ड लुक स्टॉप मी फ्रॉम डूइंग सो right here you can see that i uh, that i couldn't take a jump that i couldn't take a jump here because the while loop stopped me so because because of my sum right so but my jump was still plus plus right my jump was still added so if if i if i'm at this position then i'll just return my jump and else for the case of else i say that i take one more jump and i have to get my answer right so i'll return jump plus 1 for that case okay so this is my code now let's run this this looks fine it's successful let's submit this code it is passing all the test cases so uh, now let's try to discuss the time complexity of this equation okay how it is actually the time complexity is very important okay so what is happening to this sum variable right what is happening to my sum my sum is uh, adding by 1 right it is plus 1 then it is plus 2 then it is plus 3 then it is plus 4 then so on And let's say I am taking a jump till nth, right? Uh, this is nth numbers, right? Now this is my sum. This is my total sum, right? And this will go. This will. This loop will run. This while loop of sum is less than k or sum is less than x. This will run. This while loop will run till the x, right? Till this number here is x. So. what is going to be the time complexity okay so let's add these numbers and this is the sum of natural numbers so i'll get n into n plus 1 by 2 right this is less than equals to x okay so if i make a equation out of this i'll get n square plus n is less than equals to 2x right so i'll get n square plus n minus 2x is less than equals to 0 right so uh, to solve this equation i already know the formula which is If I have this, if I have a x square plus b x plus c equals to zero, then I can uh, then I the, my roots are going to be x is equals to plus minus or uh, minus b plus minus under root b square minus four ac, right? Divided by two a, right? That was my formula. So let's apply this formula in this question. I will get n is equals to minus b, which is minus one plus Now I don't have a minus because I'm talking about the minimum jumps. It will always be in the positive numbers, right? Min uh, minus one plus under root b square, which is one, right? Minus four a one c c, which is minus two, right? And minus two x divided by two a, right? So this will get me. Minus n is we n will be equal to minus one plus under root one minus uh one plus four by four times two which is one plus eight x right and this is two so indirectly I can say that n is directly proportional to under root of x right so my time complexity for this question is going to be o of root x right why x because my input here is x. Okay, so my time complexity is going to be the o, uh, big O of root x. Okay, so I hope you understand this question. If you don't, I would suggest you watch the part which you don't understand. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.